Hi friends, uh, are you able to hear me? This is Tushar and uh, just confirm whether my voice is reaching you all. Yeah, uh, so we will be starting at 6.30 just in case if you are having any trouble, just let me know. And uh, let me first start with sharing the screen. So uh, just wanted to understand whether all of you are able to see the screen as well. Just confirm. Are you able to see the screen? Yeah, so uh, I hope you're able to see the screen, all of you. Just confirm. Good. So we will just wait for a couple of minutes and then we'll start. Wait. And as you know, the ground rules are you have to put your mic always on mute because otherwise it interferes and uh, there is a lot of uh, noise. So make sure that during every minute of the session, your mics are always on mute. Whenever you require anything, any doubt or something, you can just unmute and uh, connect with us. You know, uh, all other fa faculty members of uh, Centum Academy would also be there in parallel. Uh, so hence, you know, uh, make sure that, uh, you know, if you have any trouble, you can reach out to them as well. Ankur sir is also there. So uh, if I am busy in the session, you can always reach out to him for any technical help. Ankur, are you there? So Ankur sir will be here in some time. I'm there. I'm responding over chat as well. Okay, great. So uh, all of you know the date sheets are out. And this time uh, it is happening a little early. So you know your dates, right? Uh, when the maths exam is scheduled. <clears throat> so maths is on 12th of March. Uh, but for uh, RNR people, you'll have a different set of dates, I believe. So, never mind. So, uh, let's begin our uh, this thing. This will be a two hour session, and uh, from today onwards, uh, and uh, uh, till 4th of Feb or till whatever you know, when you'll be writing your exams, till then we will be available for any assistance possible. So, uh, please make sure that you go through these sessions on a regular basis. And uh, we will be providing you with lots of resource material as well to uh, supplement your preparations. So if you are really, um, uh, you've already faced one set of exams in your schools. If you are consistent with our sessions and, uh, you know, uh, the practice sessions and the mocks and all that, I think uh, getting 100 in both maths and science would not be much of a task. Yeah. So uh, please make sure that you attend it consistently. Now the structure of this uh, revision program, you already know that we will be revising the concepts first of all. Then uh, the, the focus would be on uh, the type of questions which are asked in the board exams. And uh, we will align our uh, approach towards them now. And uh, uh, the second thing is you must also know there are lots of other resources available which you must be aware of. For example, what are the scheme, what are model answers, CBSC has published all on their website, but we'll also take you through in our respective sessions on, uh, you know, uh, there will be discussions on previous year papers, previous year questions, then we'll be discussing on, uh, you know, how people have uh, written, uh, you know, such answers, so, and what are the possibilities of you losing marks, so we'll be focusing on all of these parameters. 
now if you have any discussion any doubt let's say during the session then you can always uh, you know uh, reach out to us uh, but these sessions since you know that every session is of 2 hour length uh, so we we'll try to uh, make it as fast as possible because anyways it's a it's a revision so we are not going into deeper details of each concept of it but yes as far as possible we will be trying to cover uh, you know as much details as possible should the case be that you are still left with uh, some kind of con some concepts which have not been touched or you really want some more uh, elaboration on that so you can always come back to us okay so let's begin i hope everyone is there so we will appreciate that if you join on time because again as i told you it's a 2 hour session and we try to uh, you know summarize everything so in those two hours so let's begin uh, friends so today we are going to take up triangles and before that uh, the regular cbsc people you know that the pattern has changed and this is how your uh, question paper looks like so this is your standard question paper now so standard mathematics so if you see there are 40 questions my take on this kind of a paper is you know uh, i actually it has become much easier now to attempt mathematics because 20 marks are, you know, uh, MCQ. So if you see, there are 20 MCQ, uh, sorry, 20 objectives, one mark each question, wherein, uh, you know, if you see, there are uh, nine, 10, 10 questions are MCQ based. So, you know, uh, 10 questions are MCQ based, and then uh, there are some fill in the blanks, five fill in the blanks, and there are five, uh, uh, you know, short answer type, very, very short answer type questions. So there are 20 questions. I think within 20 minutes or at max within 25 minutes, you'll be able to solve these 20 questions. Then there are, uh, you know, from 24th to 26th. Yeah, so this is six question of two marks each. So again, um, you know, it should take another uh, 30 minutes, let's say maximum to cover this. Then there are uh, eight three markers. So from 27th to uh, I think 34, yeah. So, these are three marker questions so again you know in an hour hour should be good enough for all of them you know in 45 minutes in fact and then uh, you know 45 minutes is good enough for these and then the last six again which are four markers so let's say if you even if you spend one hour on each uh, one hour on these so uh, within two hours and 30 minutes you can actually wrap up the paper with some 30 minutes left for revision so this is something which you need to do you need to have a strategy for this paper as well so it's I am telling you again and again, scoring anything above 95, if not 100, is very easy in this paper. The You have to just, uh, you know, uh, keep in mind the uh, structure. So structure is very, 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 very familiar and very, very easy, actually. So hence, you know, you know what kind of questions will be asked. In fact, by the time we'll be writing the boards, we'll be able to predict also. Yes, the values there, it will be slightly different, but it's quite predictable paper. So hence... The idea should be to finish the paper by two hours and 30 minutes or at max two hours and 40 minutes and then the rest 20 minutes you can um, spend on revising something which normally people do not do and they lose marks on silly and calculation errors. So I hope the structure is clear. So hence there are 21 marker out of which 10 are MCQs, 5 are fill in the blanks, 5 are very short answer type. Then uh, you have uh, uh, six two marker then you have eight three marker and again six four marker in total the paper will be of 80 marks duration is three hour okay so uh, let's begin with this uh, you know so triangles again would be having around uh, eight marks question for sure if not more but then around eight marks one uh, you know so if you can see the sample paper itself there will be one question on uh, let's say one marker here Yep, so in this one marker, uh, let me see if there is one. No, so in, in MCQ, there is no. But then in fill in the blanks, let's see if there is. Uh, yep, so if you see uh, question number 13, one marker, yep, it's there. So you have to find out the ratio of the areas. If you see, this is very, very important. Every year they are asking question on if side ratios are given, then find the ratio of the areas or the vice versa, right? So hence, you cannot really miss out on these kind of questions. So please be very, very careful. The only thing you will make mistakes will be during calculation. So you need to just be a little bit more cautious. Then here again, there is one marker. So, you know, so find the length of AB and uh, uh, 
um, I think in the figure angle A C B C D A A C B C D A yeah so and A D is three centimeters so you have to find out the length of A B so you know there are there will be at max two marks of one uh, sorry two questions of one mark one mark each then here is question number 23 which is again based on you know the triangle chapter so two marks here so total four let's go to section c section c may if you see uh here uh, uh yes so bc is perpendicular this is <clears throat> this you can treat as you know so it, it, it is you know kind of mix of both but let me see if exhaustive uh triangle question is there only only triangle related yes no this is also so no so till there no none and uh, this is construction so this is also not there and uh, yeah so 36 if you see this you know line drawn parallel to one side of the triangle to intersect the other two sides in distinct points then the other two sides are divided in the same ratio you know this is the famous Thales theorem bpt so they are directly asking the theorems proof so all the theorems become very very important so you can see four plus two plus two so eight marks from the triangle okay so hence triangle will have at least eight marks out of 80 that means 10 percent of the total score so you can't really you know afford to miss out on this and triangles are a little tricky so never mind so what we are going to do is we are going to run through the uh, summary of the entire chapter do not mind uh, uh, sorry do not worry this is uh, the entire video will be like you know recorded and uh, this ppt also would be shared with you so hence you can use it later so first thing first uh, they have defined uh, similarity it could be a question on one mark question in your board so two figures having the same shape but not necessarily the same size are called similar figures you know already so they can give you a few choices for example if they are let's say uh, which of the following are always similar so they can give you two circles let's say and they can give you uh, two squares and let's say they are saying two uh, two hexagons hexagons and uh, hexagons and then d two uh, equilateral triangles equilateral triangles so what triangles which one of them are not which one of them is not similar not necessarily similar so what would be the answer right so this could be on the very basic um so uh Arav is not able to hear anything so that means your speakers are not proper uh uncle please take care of that so um yep uh guys so answer would be c correct no so uh two circles two circles two squares two hexagons so you know two hexagons not need not be need not be uh, similar so if there are two regular hexagons then definitely but then it's not mentioned over there so please understand two figures having the same shape but not necessarily the same size are called similar figures the application could be this i hope you understood this next is the all congruent figures are similar but the converse is not true yes you already know this it can be a true false question if at all they want to you know uh, uh, you know ask you like that so all congruent figures are definitely similar but converse is not true why because uh, if you have two circles of different sizes let's say this two different radius the other one doesn't look like a circle let me yeah yeah so this is a circle now so these two circles definitely are similar they are similar but definitely they are not congruent because the sizes are not same okay next so two polygons having the same number of sides are similar if yeah so this is nothing but we are now talking about criteria of similarity yep so you know any two geometric figures will be similar provided point number one their corresponding angles are equal and point number two their corresponding sides are proportional now it is true for any geometric figure right so let's say if you have a pentagon and another pentagon like that so both pentagon are similar only when let's say a uh, b c d and d and e and this is let's say p q r s and t right so they are similar only when 
corresponding angles are equal so hence that is very very critical and uh, here is where most of the errors happen so a must be equal to p and uh, yeah and b must be equal to q c must be equal to r d must be equal to s and e must be equal to t and the corresponding sides must be proportional what does it mean it, you already know this this is a b upon so a b upon a b upon p q is equal to b c upon q r and so on and so forth so finally e a upon t p like that okay so hence if this is true then these two are similar okay so uh, same holds for triangles but triangles one beautiful part is you don't need to you know uh, triangles the only geometric figure which is possible where you don't need to have both together true and for triangles the best part is either one or two should be true right that means either one or the two should hold and the triangles are similar it's possible only for triangles you know not for any other geometric figure and this is because the triangle is the smallest possible polygon yep so this is so for triangles we know we need to just prove either this or this but for all other figures we need to prove and you know we need to prove both of them to make make sure that they are similar okay now let's come to the theorem now this is the question which is given in uh your <coughs> um the question the you know sample paper as well so this is the famous uh thales theorem or basic proportionality theorem if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides in distinct points then the other two sides are divided in the same ratio so hence be very very thorough with the proof you cannot mess out in this okay so hence this is the triangle and this is a line parallel so quick proof you know how to do it a b c and this is let's say d and e so how do we prove it so basically what you do is you drop perpendiculars from or you basically join these two points c e and b e right and then we use the concept of areas to prove this yes so what do we do so we 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 say we say area of triangle a d e a d e divided by area of triangle d e b d d e b area of triangle d e b is both are is, is nothing but a d upon d b why because uh, uh area with same altitude so if you see this is a, uh, these two triangles are having same altitude and that altitude is nothing but if you see let's say this one h so hence you can direct you can say area of ade divided by area of deb triangle deb is ad by db okay and you, you have to mention the um mention the reason as well so uh, many people skip the reasoning part and hence they miss out on the marks so you have to write uh, area of triangles or ratio of ratio of areas of triangles with same height same height is equal to ratio of their bases this is the underlying philosophy here right so hence similarly you can also say um yes so hence ah so and similarly you can say that area of triangle ade divided by area of triangle dec d triangle d e c again will be equal to a e upon e c same reason so and then you mention this as one mention this as two okay so that means if you divide one by two so you say one divided by two right so what do we get and i'm not writing this all the steps but you have to play you know make sure that you write everything here and here it is nothing but area of triangle d e c divided by area of triangle deb now this is equal to um sorry uh oh wait a minute uh where did i yeah so basically oh, okay okay wait a minute so ad ad by de ad by ad by db is equal to 
oh sorry you don't need to divide it actually so what you can say is these two ratios are same why because if you see you can see area of area of triangle deb is equal to area of triangle dec why is this again deb and dec are having same base same base and same base is equal to de and between same parallel between same parallel correct so hence this is 3 okay so from 1 2 and 3 clearly what happens lhs of both 1 and 2 becomes same right now so hence from 1 2 and 3 from 1 2 and 3 you get ad by db is equal to ae by ec okay so this is what is Thales theorem this is what you have to prove right so please remember uh, how to go about it okay so this proof is important let me write it here so do not forget to revise it before the exam okay and the application obviously will be there okay uh give you a minute okay Veda. giving you a minute what what do you want tell me if you want to uh if you're writing it no don't worry we, anyways i'll give you this entire ppt so you can you know take it as a note okay so in uh, what are important uh, uh, things here would be please you know so make sure you draw neat diagrams so diagrams will be very very important diagrams they should be neat yeah do not do any overwriting anything of that sort okay and uh, you know label it label them label them properly so marking scheme says all this so label them yeah well labeled diagram neat answer attracts good marks okay okay so let's move on so this is uh, the converse of uh, bpt yep so basic proportionality theorem so hence thing is basic basic proportionality proportionality and uh, you will see that they will not uh, usually ask the names of the theorem as in you know they won't say okay prove basic proportionality theorem they will give the theorem and then ask you to prove it so hence you don't really need to remember it but then yes it's good practice to remember and it is also called thales theorem we have already spoken about it thales theorem okay now if a line divides any two sides of a triangle in the same ratio then the line is parallel to the third side of the triangle this is the converse of it we have done it multiple number of times and uh, what is important here is that we use a, a concept called contradiction so this is the best part about proving so if you know the first proof the converse majority number of times major number of times you can actually prove the uh, converse using contradiction so hence what does it mean so hence we have a triangle again and that and this thing says that okay if uh, a line is there which is dividing the ratio the triangle abc into equal ratios that means it is given that ab It's given that AB by, let's say, or not AB, uh, a, let's say this is D and this is E. So AD by DB is equal to AE by EC. It's given. And you have to prove that, prove that DE is, <clears throat> DE is parallel, DE is parallel to BC, BC. This is what you have to, this is the converse. They can also ask you, to prove this do we have to even learn the statement also uh, i don't think so they will not ask you okay what is basic proportionality theorem but it's always you know it's not very hard actually to remember it as well to answer your query with it. so it's always good to know the you know uh, statement as well but then you can frame it in your words and write if at all they are asking it okay now so de is parallel to bc and whenever such things Let's say if you're not able to articulate, articulate any statement or something, you can always use expressions or let's say, you know, diagrams to explain and mathematically define it. It should be, you know, it should serve the purpose. 
uh, isn't it mandatory to write the statement before starting to do proof or uh, not necessary if the question is given you don't need to recopy the same thing again if you really want it you can summarize like this for example what did i do here i drew the triangle and explain what is given and what is to be proven so this is nothing but in a way i wrote the same statement but in mathematical language okay so this is what you have to start with the you know the usual process of writing given so do not uh, after some time when we'll discuss the uh, uh, everything will be done just 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 hold on guys so yes yes it is to answer your query you can define like that i we will show you how people have done it so hence given you have to mention so all this have to be written and given then the next step is uh, to prove or to show please write write in that order itself and then uh, you know it is advisable to draw the diagrams using pencils now you have enough time for all this so uh, you can uh, use that okay now uh, you you uh, draw diagrams using pencils and all and then to prove after to prove we have uh, uh, you know, so you do put your mic on so uh, you know you can do construction 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 and then finally the proof part so these are the four parts like that you should you know uh, let's say write your answer so now in this proof you know how to do it contradiction proof right so hence what will you do you will um, assume that let's say uh, de is not parallel to bc so let's say de is not parallel to bc okay so do not write these symbols because you know so you let me just not use it only so you you should write let's say de is not parallel to bc okay so let's say then let then you can say let's say let's say de dash is parallel to bc and hence you have to also draw de dash so let's say you are drawing like that and mention e dash okay therefore by bpt you know by bpt by bpt yeah yeah it's always uh, you know uh, uh, don't write bpt you should write basic proportionality theorem but then you know, it also depends many a times people are considerate if you are writing bpt oh sorry what happened yeah oh just a minute guys huh so um so let's say de uh, dash is parallel to bc that means uh, from bpt um oh yeah so from by bpt you have to say that ad upon db is equal to ae dash upon e dash c right but 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 you should write but ad by db is actually equal to ae by ec this was given right so then it's always advisable to you know reduce your writing time you write equation numbers so you can write now write from 1 and 2 what do you get ae dash ae dash by e dash c is equal to ae by ec okay this is only possible you can you know that this is only possible when when e dash and e coincide okay e dash and e coincide and hence our assumption that uh, de is not parallel to um, bc is wrong and hence de is actually parallel to bc so hence i am not writing those steps you please make sure that i'm just trying to you know give you the uh, the the quick revision part of it okay so let's move on there are 30 slides in this and there's a few questions also so the internal bisector of an angle of a triangle divides this is also important term important let me write it here and they important they can ask you the proof of this many times they have asked it and you must know how to prove it what does it say so there is a triangle and uh, there is a triangle sorry there is a triangle here okay and now um, you are joining it or let's say you have a you have an angle bisector you have a angle bisector here okay so hence now uh, this is x and this is x so a b c d 
okay you have to prove what that a b a b by a c is equal to b d by d c right so remember uh, the you know the statements and what exactly they mean so hence this by this so a b by b c a c a b by a c sorry is equal to b d by d c that's what they are asking to prove and you know uh, in this case there is you know it's always good whenever you are writing uh, or let's say doing a uh, revision so you mention wherever let's say some construction this is a problem where construction is required okay what is the construction you know you um, for the paucity of space i'll do it here itself so you ex you extend ba like that okay and then what do you do and well, how do you extend it you make sure that a so hence construction here is let me write construction here is after you write given to prove and all that then construction what is construction uh, ba produced so this is how you should write ba produced to e such that such that ae is equal to or, or rather uh, no in this case you should not do this in, in fact the construction you can this do this as well but the usual given proof is you have to extend or draw yeah like that you draw you draw sorry so this construction this could be uh, this you could have done this way also but then your ncrt style so what you do is construct ce parallel to ab you construct this and then let this join both both ways are possible so let's join this okay so ce parallel to ab drawn oh drawn whichever way suits you you can do this okay and what uh, ba produced produced to meet meet ce at e this is how you should write ad not ab so ce parallel to ad ce parallel to a oh i'm sorry yeah i'm sorry ad yeah be, be very careful because these things will lose marks very good yes right then what then we already know that okay if uh, this is the same this is the case you can denote in the diagram as well use the diagram as much as possible so in, you know for example i'm writing x here y and then you state it here so hence you'll you'll say this is e so hence angle uh, b e c is equal to angle b a d is equal to x right why and this is because corresponding corresponding angles okay and similarly angle d a c is equal to angle a c e again this is because this is equal to x and this is alternate interior now i'm writing short form you please do not write that there alternate interior angles okay that means what ac is equal to ae isosceles triangle right so ac is equal to ae that is what we wanted to prove now hence what will happen that means uh, <clears throat> uh yes huh so now in triangle b e c by b p t what will you write by b p t and uh, you know uh, a c is equal to a e so you deploy it here and hence you will get this implies b a by a c is equal to b d b d by d c hence proved okay so this is the proof for this very this is an important proof it might be there for a bore marker okay next so converse so i hope uh, so far so good no one has any doubt in this converse again is very very you know simple similar thing you have to do so what does first of all you must know how to write the statement so hence if a line through one vertex of a triangle divides the opposite side in the ratio of other two sides then the line bisects the angle of the angle at the vertex so hence let us first draw a triangle so this is a triangle 
and it is said that a b c a b c and there is a line a d such that so what's given given part is a b upon a c is equal to b d upon d c okay is the question six and question very ncrt uh question six and this is no question six these are all theorems which we are revising guys so okay now what happens here a b by a c is equal to b d by d c so uh, you have to prove huh so hence what is to be proven to prove to prove what do you need to prove you need to prove that uh a angle b a d is equal to angle c a d that's what you have to prove okay okay guys yep so hence how do you uh do this again you have to do a construction and uh, what you need to do is you can again draw you know parallel line like that and extend so i'm not writing that i'm just explaining this one to you and you can write all of that okay so what is this now so let's say this point is e again sorry for the small space okay so e again so if they are parallel that means this uh yeah so hence um very good so hence if you draw parallel then what happens let me write it here so clearly a b upon uh, yeah so if they are parallel then by bpt by bpt we can say a b upon a e is equal to b d upon d c right a b upon a e is equal to b d upon d c but it's why why this because it's because of bpt but we know but a b upon a c is equal to b d upon d c it's given by one and two one and two what can you infer you can infer a e is equal to a c right a is equal to a c the moment a is equal to a c then you can write this this as x this as x okay so if this these are two are x then you know by corresponding angle this also will be x and by alternate interior angle this also will be x so hence our purpose is solved right so but you have to write it in this fashion that a is equal to ac that means angle angle a e c is equal to angle a c e right also angle a e c is equal to angle d a d and you have to write corresponding angles also angle a uh sorry angle d a c is equal to angle a c e what is this alternate interior angles so again you write three four and five so always put you know the equation number so hence and then finally you can write from three four and five what can you say angle b a d is equal to angle dac or cad hence proof any doubt guys in this right so you know, you now know in angle bisector theorems you have to draw construct lines parallel to the you know the bisector line okay great so let's move ahead now this is not there in your this thing uh, uh this is not there the external bisector of an angle of a triangle divides the opposite side externally in the ratio of the sides containing the angle now but but if they give you as a problem if they give you as a problem then you have to do it what are they asking they are asking this that if there is a triangle and you know there is an external external bisector of this so let's say i have this triangle okay and this is the external angle let's say this is a this is b this is c and the bisector of this is let's say meeting yeah this point is 
D. Okay, this is the case. Now they're asking that that um, given that this is x x and this is also x, prove that a d by I'm sorry a b by a b a b a b by a c a b by a c is equal to b d by c d okay yep so hence guys uh, they will not ask you directly but they can give you as a problem to solve okay so hence that's you know so you must be see you you should not leave any stone unturned you know so do not say uh, think only okay because it's in in um, syllabus or not in syllabus but this can be asked as a question to you to prove so in this case you need to remember that what do you need to do again this will not be without a construction so i'm i'm, I'm writing here this problem requires construction what is the construction now again you have to draw parallel lines like that okay so you have to draw parallel from c right let's say this point is e okay so the moment you do this what else do you get so this angle becomes x okay and this angle also becomes x <clears throat> again by corresponding an alternate right so i'm not because there are lots of other things to cover so i'll be very quick in solving this so if you see from here a e a e a e is equal to a c why isosceles triangle opposite angles are equal so a e is equal to e c uh sorry a e is equal to a c yep a e is equal to um a e is equal to a c yeah a e is equal to a c now by b p t again you can say b e b e upon or rather the corollary of b p t so hence i know i i hope you wrote, you know you remember corollaries as well corollaries of b p t is what so let's say if this is the triangle and you know this is x by y and m by n let's say these are the ratio then you know the corollaries are like this x plus y by y is equal to m plus n by n yeah by component of dividend we had done that so but anyways you remember this otherwise also uh x upon x plus y will also be equal to m upon m plus n all these things you must know and y upon x plus y will also be equal to n upon m plus n so all these ratios are yep. bd by bc bd no bd by cd ab by ac how do you remember you go from one point from b to d and then come to c like that bd by dc okay guest 57 what's your name why are you unknown anonymous what's your name okay uh, so please mention your name so that we can you know uh, identify you okay anyways so this is yeah so hence what will happen here so i'm you know you, we will be using these corollaries i'm just uh, okay let me let, let uh, i'm putting it here itself yeah so now ae is equal to ac given so b b a b a upon e a so we can write this as b a upon e a b a upon b a upon medha oh b a upon e a is equal to b d upon c d is that okay right by b p t and now e a is equal to a c so hence i can replace it by b a by a c is equal to b d by c d hence proved c d okay fair enough any doubt in this hmm? so this is the uh, external bisector theorem so this can be asked as a question moving ahead now this you already know midpoint theorem very very easy no need to you know so you know that if this is a triangle a b c what does it say the line drawn from the midpoint of one side of a triangle is parallel of another side bisects the third side so let's say point d is the midpoint 
and you draw a line parallel meets at E. So you know E is also special case of BPT. Uh, uh, what is special case of BPT? Yeah, uh, focus here now. So hence uh, D E. So D is the midpoint. So hence by BPT we know A D upon D B will be equal to A E upon E C, isn't it? So D is the midpoint. That means A D by D B is one by one is equal to AE by EC. So hence we get AE is equal to EC. Right? Ha, special case of BPT. Very good. Right? So AE is equal to EC. So this is what is midpoint theorem here. So hence midpoint is there. And uh, you already know which is not, you know, you would have learned in ninth grade that DE is also half of BC. So keep that in mind. You can use this if required at all. Very well. In such case okay so okay let's move ahead the line joining the midpoints of two sides of two is parallel to the third side this is again converse of midpoint theorem no brainer again so if there is a triangle abc abc and it says line joining the midpoint so let's say d and e are the midpoint and you join this so hence they are midpoints given you have to prove that de is parallel to bc this is this has to be proved okay so by converse of BPT, you can say that AD by DB anyways is equal to AE by EC, right? And this is equal to one by one. So by converse, converse of BPT. Now many prop, many students face this issue of remembering which is the first theorem and which is the converse of it. Now BPT talks about, BPT says that there is a parallel line already. So the, the moment there's a parallel line, there will be two equal ratios. So remember like that. So parallel line leads to ratio is BPT. So the converse is equal ratio leads to parallel line. Right. So, you know, you have to have some trick of remembering. So many people get confused which one is the, you know, the, the main theorem and what is the converse. So BPT is parallel line is there. It cuts the two sides. It cuts the two sides in equal proportions. That's BPT. Basic proportionality theorem. Proportional. The word proportionality is there. So hence you will get proportions there. So that's basic proportionality theorem, right? So by converse of BPT, now already proportion is there. That means the line will be parallel, right? So hence we said DE is parallel to BC. Clear? So this is okay. Now diagonals of a trapezium divide each other proportionally. This can this can be given as a you know theorem to prove or some you know, application based on this. So let's say these are the sides A, B, C, D. A, B, and C, uh, sorry, A, C, and B, D are the diagonals. Diagonals of a trapezium divide each other proportionally. That means, what does it mean? It means you have to prove A, O upon O, C is equal to B, O upon O, D. Now, do not mess with the order. Order is very important. You can't say A, O by O, A, O by O, C is equal to O, D by O, B. This will be wrong. Okay, so A is on, you know, A on top, then O, then C, then B on top, then O, then B, like that. Everything just froze. What froze? Everything is fine. All of you are able to, any technical issue, guys, please put it in the chat box. All is well? Any, 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 any issue? Good. So all okay. Very good. Kavi, uh, just log out, log in. Any any technical issue, whenever you feel, just log out, log in. Okay. Chitej, no comments. Okay, now guys. Uh, so how do we do? Again, this is important in terms of again construction. Remember the construction here. Here also there will be a construction. What is the construction? You have to draw a line parallel to. Let's say this point is E. Okay. Now you can use BPT, and then you can do. Okay, so hence uh, the moment you draw parallel lines, so hence what do you get in triangle AO? Sorry, not AO, ADC. You will get AE upon ED is equal to AO upon OC by BPT. Okay, and in the other triangle, so see, uh, keep in keep in mind, so AE by ED is not required. AO by OC is required, and the other thing is BO by OD. So BO by OD, choose that triangle where BO and OD are there. 
okay so and that triangle is d a d b so hence triangle a d b if you see it's what do you, what do we see a e upon same ratio you take a e by e d is equal to o b by o d right same b p t and now if you check this is what we wanted both lhs are same so rhs will have to be same okay so a o by o c is equal to b o by o d and hence we get this result the converse is also true right that and this is the next slide converse is if the diagonals of a quadrilateral so let us have our quadrilateral first so this is a oh this becomes a regular I try not to draw regular figures because otherwise you will get confused so let's say this is the uh, yeah if the diagonals of a quadrilateral divide each other proportionately so or proportionally so let's say this is the case a b c d o now this is d right it's given that a o by o c is equal to o b by o d then you have to prove that a b is parallel to d c and no brainer again you have to just draw a perpendicular uh, sorry a parallel line name it e right so hence it is parallel so you uh, so parallel to one of them so let's say i am drawing construction what is the construction draw e o parallel to d c one parallel line i can definitely do, draw right okay now uh, can't we use similarity in which question uh in this uh if yeah in there is no problem in using similarity you can use similarity as well no problem but then why kill a rat using a nuclear bomb so let's use something which is very very simple so bpt right eo is directly uh, sorry eo is parallel to eo is parallel to dc we constructed then this means what this means do 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 by ob will be equal to de de by ea de by ea hey don't do this yeah who is using annotation i'll throw you out of the class i told you do not distract stay away from this i know who is doing it i'm not trying to tell you publicly i'm attending the class on my pc and i can't hear anything now uh, you know, check your issue you know this thing um uh, speakers uh, arjun everyone else is able to do it so carrying on um do by ob do by ob is de by ac that's what sorry de by ea and we already know from this that do by ob is so i'm writing it here so here is what i'm continuing here so do by ob from the given condition is oc upon ao right from the given condition here and here you can see what do i know this means oc by o, oc by ao is equal to de by ea from the first two conditions oc by ao is equal to de by ea and this by converse again converse of bpt what can we infer we can say that ab is parallel to eo okay now ab is parallel to eo but eo was parallel to dc from here see eo was parallel to dc therefore by combining these two this one and this one you will get ab is parallel to dc okay so see guys what i'm trying to tell you is this please do not do these questions in this short form since this is a you know revision class so i am just going through the theorems one by one when we'll do do the questions down there then we'll write all the steps this is just for your you know for you to refresh your you know knowledge in this okay next any line parallel to the parallel sides of a trapezium divides the non parallel sides proportionally again direct followed of bpt so they are saying that there is a trapezium and you have a parallel line let's say here and whenever such kind of problems are there as i told you never draw very regular 
cases so let's say you know take take cases like this so that your you know mind is not confused so a b c d and let's say d e and f so this is parallel and you have to do what you have to say you have to prove that a e so what is given given is a e f is parallel to a b parallel to c d what you need to do is prove that prove that a e by e d a e by e d okay a e by e d is equal to b f by f c this is what you have to prove how to do it very simple again you have to again do some you know again the, the moment there is some ratio you know what to do you have to do bpd use bpd so hence what i do is i construct this line parallel make a triangle so you what one thing you need is triangle so hence what i do is i draw construction construction will be ag parallel to bc okay i draw draw I do this what what does it become ag cb is a parallelogram it becomes a parallelogram right then clearly if you see um yeah so and let's say e f g h this point is h so this point is h okay now what do we get we get by bpt sorry by bpt by bpt we get a e upon e d is equal to oh so thing yeah a e upon e d is equal to a h upon h g by bpt correct now if you see a h f b and h g c f both are parallelogram why because opposite sides are parallel correct that means a h is equal to b f opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal and h g will be equal to c f right and that is what we wanted so hence you can now say a e by e d is equal to b f by c f right this is what you wanted to prove and it's done very good draw dia uh, you can do that as well no problem draw dia so what chit is just saying is draw a dia diagonal like that and then again use bpt you can do that also no problem meeda said that yeah okay meeda yes you can do multiple ways no problem whichever thing you think is easier for you you can go ahead and do it okay uh, uh, next is if there are more parallel lines are intersected so this is called intercept theorem if three or more parallel lines are intersected by two transversals then the intercepts made by them on the transversal are proportional what does it mean so there are one two and three that's a minimum of three lines are there and there are two transversals like that so let's say this is l this is this is l this is m this is n and uh, this is let's say point a point b point c point d point e and point f so you have to prove given what is given l is parallel to m is parallel to n this is given this is given you have to prove that ac upon ce is equal to bd upon df okay so how do again so you can do the transversal thing if you want uh, sorry this diagonal thing again here also so join this let's say this is g okay so clearly what do we know uh, we know that ac by ce will be equal to bg by ge again by bpt right all are parallel so hence by bpt we can say and similarly we can say bg by ge is equal to bd by df and hence prove one and two if you combine them you will get the desired result like that
Okay, you can use the previous question as all the quads are medium. Yes, but then, uh, yep, you can do that. No problem. Okay, but then don't, you know, it's, it's always better to do that. Never use that, okay, since it is a trapezium man. Uh, because CBSE marking scheme may not like that. So hence, do the, you know, way it has been instructed. Okay, uh, now, okay, now comes after the first part. If you, if you see the triangle chapters, I didn't tell you before, is, you know, there are three basic elements. One is BPT. So there will be problems related to BPT, always remember. Second, there is similarity of triangles. And third, Pythagoras theorem. So these are three, three major, you know, this thing uh, in your triangles chapter. So questions would be Pythagoras theorem is a very last year. It was asked to prove the Pythagoras theorem. Yes, equal intercept, not equal intercept, intercept theorem. They're not equal. Intercepts are not equal. They are proportional. So, you know, the first part is BPT, second is similarity. And now, so AA is similarity criterion. So what is uh, uh, AA similarity criterion guys? So hence there are two triangles and uh, what they're saying is, if how what is AA similarity? So AA similarity means, now we are talking about the criterion of, so we learned that there are two criteria for any two you know, figures to be similar. Their ratios, their angles should be equal, corresponding angles should be equal. And uh, the ratios of the sides should be proportional. So A, B, C, D, E, F. Right? And in and I told you, in case of triangles, in case of triangles, we don't need both. We just need to prove any one of them and it is done. So that's, and you can prove it from here itself. Let's, uh, just a minute. A, D, yeah, this is D. So A, B, C, and D, E, F are similar. And what is given? That angle A is equal to angle D and angle B is equal to angle E and C is angle F. This is given. Okay. So uh, I, am, I have not seen, uh, you know, people asking the proofs of the similarity criteria, but why take chances? So hence, you know, uh, we will, you know, learn the proof as well as fast as possible. So the first one is always remember the order also is very important. AAA similarity has to be known first. Once you know this, you will use this particular similarity to prove other similarities. So hence in this case, what do we do? We consider, so uh, how do we prove similarity? So we already know the angles, corresponding angles are equal. Let me just make it a little specific. This is equal to this and this is equal to this. Now, how do we prove the similarity? So if you somehow prove that the ratio of the sides are also equal, then you are done. So let's say uh, this is the thing. Let's say I have case one. Case one is, let's say, all the sides, are, you know, A. let's say uh, we are saying AB is equal to ED. There are three possibilities. Either AB will be equal to ED or case two will be AB is less than ED or case three is AB greater than ed so this one is case two and this one is case three and we'll check for all the three cases if we can establish the ratio now first case is um a so in this case what happens ab is equal to ab is equal to ed the moment that happens the two triangles become congruent by asa isn't it so hence if you see if AB is equal to ED, if AB is equal to ED, so if you check here, this is E, AB, ED. So if AB is equal to ED, so then by I, by I, by, by ASA, I can say triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEC, DEF, sorry. ABC is congruent to DEF, then hence similarity established. They are similar, every, we know that every congruent figure are similar as well, similarity. Right, so that's done. Now, what happens if you know, uh, let's say AB is second case, AB is less than DE. Okay, now in AB is less than uh, DE or ED. So, hence, what in this case, what do we do? Case two, mark a point on 
on DE. So let me mark a point here. P. Oh, oh. P. This is P. Okay. Mark a point P such that DP is equal to something DP. And let me just finish this. So let's say I'm marking point P and Q such that such that DP is equal to AB and DQ is equal to AC. This I can construct. No, don't use trigonometry to prove, you know, uh, see now you are not in a competitive mode, guys. This is, they want you to solve, you want, they want you to solve the way they have told you because your answer may be correct but if it doesn't see please understand the you know uh, understand from examiner's perspective as well so examiner has been given a, a marking scheme and he has and to main, maintain the standards it has been clearly instructed that anything which deviates from marking scheme will not attract marks so if the examiner is very very you know under please understand the you know situation he would be evaluating lots of papers together so he might not have that much of time to go through each and every new methodology people have done yep or they have adopted then what will happen is they might you know uh, and even if the a person or the examiner or the teacher is very you know uh, very encouraging in nature but then because of the volume he has to handle and to maintain standards he will make sure that the marking scheme is followed so if you deviate from marking scheme it might not, you know, uh, you might not get marks. So hence, adhere to CBSC rules and regulations to maximize your output. Otherwise, yep, it's not a competitive exam, my dear friends, where you need to score more from somewhere else. Somewhere else. Okay, so um, please understand this. So hence, uh, they are they are going to check whether you know it the way they they have instructed you. That's it. There is no other objective. So hence. In this case, DQ is equal to AC and hence join uh, PQ. So I, I did this. Okay, now if you see this, then clearly I would not explain it because you would all know this, that triangle ABC, triangle ABC would be congruent to triangle DPQ. Triangle DPQ. Triangle DPQ, correct? Triangle ABC is directly, you know, is, is congruent to DPQ. That means PQ is equal to BC. Right, and why is this? This is because of S A S criteria. Why? Right? Because D is equal to A, and the other two sides are equal. Now, the moment I say this, that means I can write this as. So, if you see, this is let's say X. So, this is X, and if this is Y, so this is Y. Right, but then it was already given that E is equal to B. So, this was already X here, and this was already Y here. That means here we get correspondence right by this logic we can establish one fact and that fact is pq is parallel to ef why because if you see angle dpq happens to be equal to def okay so the moment pq becomes parallel to ef my job is done how now you can say that by bpt see dp 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 by DE is equal to DQ by DF, right? But DP was equal to AB by construction. So you can say AB by DE is equal to AC by DF. And that's what you wanted to, you know, establish. So two sides ratios, corresponding side ratios are equal. Similarly, so this is one, you know, similarly you have to write. There will be two more such ratios. You have to write all the other ones like BC by EF will be equal to AB by DE and the last one. And hence all the three ratios are also equal. Correct? When all the three ratios are equal and all the angles were already equal, then hence the two triangles are similar. Okay? So this is the proof of dub triple A. That is AAA similarity criterion so just to repeat you have to draw dp is equal to ab then draw dq is equal to ac and then prove that abc is congruent to dpq 
dpq like that and the moment you do that you establish that pq is parallel to ef if pq is parallel to ef the ratios are established right and you write similarly and you repeat it thrice and you say that all the three ratios are equal so hence triple a similarity is done now the best part of triple a similarity is the double a stands why because by in, in this what will you use by angle sum property angle sum property you know if x plus y plus z is 180 and x dash plus y dash plus z dash is also 180 let's say x and y and z and x dash y dash z dash are the two three angles of two different triangles and now you know that x is equal to x dash y is equal to y dash then if you if this you know, if this is true then z has to be equal to z dash correct so hence if any if all the three angles are equal that means any two will also be equal so hence by angle sum property we can establish that you don't need to check the third angle if you check the two angles the third angle by by this property will have to be equal so hence this is a corollary to the so in a way this is a corollary to the previous one okay so this is done now comes triple s so triple s means if you have all the three sides proportional then how do you establish that uh, the two triangles are similar so let me again redo it so acha in the previous case i didn't take the other case okay you didn't point it either the other third case was ab is greater than ed here this one which one here this one ab is greater than ed but then it was quite similar to the previous case now instead of drawing pq on def you will draw pq on abc the only thing changes you can just write that as well so in the third case you can repeat it and instead of drawing pq on def you draw pq on abc and the process follows same so all the three cases we prove that triple a similarity exists okay now coming back to this so these are the two triangles and it is given that the sides are proportional that means a b c a b this is a b c this is p q r o oh, oh. yeah so let's say d e f d e f and what is given it's given that a b upon d e is equal to b c upon e f it is equal to uh, C A C or C A upon F D. This is this is given, and you have to prove that the two triangles are similar. Okay. Then again, you know the way out. Again, what do you do? Put P here, put Q here, such that what is this? A B. And let me just draw it. Yeah, just a minute. So let me. This is yeah. So you do this, and then what is it? You have A P. AB is equal to DP and uh, AC is equal to DQ. Correct? These are the two. This is the construction. So, and then join PQ. Okay. Now, uh, what do we learn? That we know already that AB by DE is equal to AB by DE is equal to CA by CA by DF. It is given. It is given. Now AB was equal to DP, so hence you can write DP by DE is equal to DQ by DF. You can write this bit by construction. Okay, right? Then hence what will happen? This will this implies by converse of BPT, PQ is parallel to EF. Okay, PQ is parallel to EF. The moment that happens, what does it mean? It means that this angle is X here. This angle is X here. This angle is X here. And this angle is x here. I'm sorry, not x, y. It has to be y, y. Y. This is y. And this is y. Okay. And uh, now what? Mm, yeah. So it's also given that. It's also given that. A, B by D, E. A B by D E is equal to um, 
ए बी बाई डी ई इज इक्वल टू बी सी बाई ई एफ बी सी बाई ई एफ राइट एंड एंड सो हेंस वट डज इट वट वट डू आई मीन आई मीन दिस लेट मी जस्ट इज दिस या सो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन लाइक दैट so ab by um, yeah so we established that pq is parallel to ef we just now need to prove that bc is equal to pq and then we can say that the this thing is congruent as well then these two triangles are congruent as well so how do we prove that so um, so ab by so hence we from here we know that dp by dp by de is nothing but ab by dp is equal to ab so ab by uh de correct dp is equal to ab so hence i can write that but ab by de is equal to bc by ef bc by ef right bc by ef okay and uh, bc by ef okay that means what mm and just a minute oh 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 yeah how do we prove that uh, pq so pq is equal dp by just a minute dp by de is equal to um what is it dp by de yeah these are parallel these angles are same so yeah dp by de is equal to ab by de which is equal to bc by bc by ef bc by ef is given okay and this is also equal to so dp by de is equal to bc by oh just a minute it got blank hello guys are you able to see it oh yeah yeah there was some 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 glitch hello hello is is the audio clear hello 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 anyone just oh yeah yeah sorry so i i got disconnected now so basically um so we established that uh wait a minute so pq is parallel to ef and dp yeah so hence uh where did it go so what i'm trying to say is when pq is equal to ha uh, so when x is equal to x and y is y then what do we learn we learn that triangle dpq is similar to triangle def why by aa criteria right both the two angles are same so by aa criteria these are similar that means dp by de is equal to pq by ef right because they are similar triangles but we know that dp was equal to ab so ab by de is also equal to bc by ef this is given so this was given and this we proved this we proved so by these two what do we learn we learn that pq is equal to bc pq is equal to bc right this is what we learn and if pq is equal to bc my friend so all the three corresponding sides become equal that means these two triangles are congruent which two triangles are congruent abc and dcq dpq these two are congruent the moment they are congruent what do we infer that d angle d this angle d is equal to angle a cpct right now uh, so the, when they are congruent so this is also x and this is y so what do we learn in triangle abc now so let me write it here in triangle abc and triangle def we have two angles equal isn't it so x and x is equal to x y is equal to y so by aa criteria aa criteria they are similar okay so any doubt in this 
again let me repeat so in all these similarity proof cases what do you need to do you need to establish congruence of you know at least two triangles here which which triangle so you draw ab is equal to dp ac is equal to dq join pq and try to establish that the two shaded uh, triangles are congruent okay now how did we start we said ab uh, we said ab is equal to d uh, we said ab by de is equal to ca by df this is given and now by construction ab was equal to dp so we established this and hence we established the parallel line you know pq is parallel to ef and hence we could establish the corresponding angles and because these corresponding angles were equal so we established that these two triangles are equal uh, similar dpq and def are similar the moment they are similar then we established that ab by de <coughs> is equal to uh, by, uh, dp by de by, is equal to pq by ef we proved because of similar triangles and by given uh, condition ab by de is equal to bc by ef this was given so by comparing these two we figured out that pq is equal to bc and that was the missing element the moment we established that bc is equal to pq this one bc is equal to pq what we learn that ab was already equal to dp and ac was already equal to dq then the three sides are correspondingly equal that means these two triangles are congruent the moment they are congruent this x comes here so this becomes x this becomes y and we just needed two angles for proving the similarity so hence in the smaller abc and the bigger def angle b is equal to e and c equals f and hence by aa criteria we got it similar okay now one uh, this i'm just skipping you know again this is uh, what do you say this is the third one sas again you have to do the same process try establishing you know uh, the congruence and you should be able to do it if not then let do just let me know now let's you know go towards problem solving as quickly as possible if two triangles are equiangular then the ratio of the corresponding side is same as the ratio of corresponding medians now these are important theorem again so they can give you this so quickly so two uh, the ratio of the two triangles are equiangular angular equiangular means they are equilateral triangle right so equiangular means they are equilateral triangle so hence two equilateral sorry the diagram doesn't look like an equilateral triangle but let us assume that a b c are equiangular and uh, d e f Oh no, but it's one angle of triangle. This is not equal. This was oh, where did oh sorry, I draw I drew it in the wrong card here. So two triangles are equiangular. Then the ratio of the corresponding side is same as the ratio of corresponding medians. So hence, if you see, it need not be equiangular. Actually, it is true for any two given triangles. So let me draw the two triangles like that. So these are the two triangles A B C and D E F. and they are let's say a is equal to d b is equal to let's say e and f is equal to f is equal to c okay now you draw median d and oh sorry d is there so let's say e f g so a g h okay so they are saying that if they are the angles are corresponding or you know equal then they will the sides will be in the ratio of median as well which is but true or uh, which is true also why because uh, if you see it's uh, they are equiangular what does it mean that means so it need not be equiangular guys it can be any angle act by the way so hence let's say ab by de is given to be equal to or uh, since they are you know all the corresponding similar right yes if they are similar so all all are equiangular that means corresponding angles are equal that then that means they are similar the moment they are similar then i can write ab by de is equal to bc by ef excuse me sir i am not here who is this it's me charan it's me charan what happened charan tell me 
yeah uh, your yeah, yeah, uh, vo- voice is breaking yeah now it's yeah, off but after we talk your 10 minutes is breaking. breaking so what happens is are you on a wifi charan yes sir yes sir so normally when the you know the uh, the network bandwidth varies this problem arises so just hang on for a if that persists you can just log out and come in again no problem okay so you will not miss on anyways uh, all this is recorded so don't worry yeah it's fine yeah sir okay. uh, yeah, so, yeah 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 so bc by ef is equal to f sorry this is ca by fd okay this is by similarity now if ag is a median then we know a bc by 2 is bg so hence this will be equal to bc by 2 divided by ef by 2 as well and bc by 2 is nothing but bg which is nothing but and B, and this thing is eh so hence if you see these two triangles this one and oh what happened so this one oh never mind so let's say this one and this one in these two triangles what happens these two are similar why first of all the side ratios are same here is this side ratios they are same and there is a included angle also which is same so for example here in this case this angle b is the angle equal to e so and these two triangles are also similar the shaded ones that means what <coughs> ab by ae ab by de sorry <clears throat> so ab by de i can write will be equal to ag by dh which are the medians okay and similar thing you can do for the corresponding uh, bisector segments as well so instead of that i uh, so i used to what i used you and never mind so and the ratio of corresponding sides same as the ratio of the corresponding altitudes all the three can be done very very similar in similar way so hence you have to just prove that the two triangles are similar and you can establish these okay never mind so let's go to okay uh, uh if one angle of a triangle is equal to one angle of another triangle and the bisectors of these equal angles divide the opposite side in same ratio then the triangles are similar now this is important this is something which i should be uh, familiar with okay yeah hello just keep 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 the mic on mute my friend keep the mic on mute okay just a minute yeah so hence the thing is Mm, if one angle of a triangle so let me just draw this triangle again oh i switch it off just a minute oh card 20 switch it on yeah so if one angle of a triangle so first of all let me draw two triangles these are the two triangles and it says a b c this is a and this is d e f okay they are saying if one angle of a triangle is equal to one angle of another triangle let's say a is equal to d and the bisectors of these equal angles divide the opposite side so let's say this is the bisector this is the bisector and divide the opposite side in the same ratio what does it mean so this is if this is x this is x this is y this is y and they are saying let's say this is e f g h they are saying um b g the equal uh, and the bisectors of these equal angles divide the opposite side in the same ratio that means it is given that bg upon gc is equal to eh upon hf and you have to say and you have to you know uh, prove that they are similar these two triangles are similar now by angle bisector theorem anyways we know that if ag is the bisector then then bg by gc is equal to ab by ac by angle bisector theorem angle bisector and similarly in the second case also eh by hf will be equal to ed by df right but these two have been given to be equal so hence what will happen it will become ab by ac is equal to ed by df okay 
uh, and uh, what is given is if one angle of a triangle is equal to so hence angle a was anyways equal to a is anyways equal to angle d it was given right so hence by sas similarity criteria we can say that abc triangle is similar to triangle def another point to be highlighted over there is don't mess with the order of the vertices so there's correspondence must be there okay correspondence must be there right so hence a must be corresponding to d b must be corresponding to e and c must be corresponding to f you can't say loosely that this is efd also this will be a wrong statement to make okay so do not mess with the order okay now this one is again that was i was trying to highlight is if two sides of a median bisecting one of these sides of a triangle are respectively proportional to the two sides and the corresponding median of another triangle then the triangles are similar very very interesting problem and it might be there as a question maybe so let's say let's say these are the two triangles one and two these two are similar triangles and it is said that this is a b c and d e f okay now the thing is if two sides and a median so median let's say this is the median let's say this is g and here this is h given is that uh, uh proportional to the two sides yes yeah. so what, what are they saying if two sides and a median so that means a b by d e is given to be equal to a g by d h is given to be equal to a c by d f you have to prove that the two triangles are similar okay now this will require some space so let me do it here okay so let me draw these triangles once again so let's say these are the two similar triangles one so i'm drawing this once again so the similar triangles are these oh sorry doesn't look like similar at all wait a minute oh. yeah so these are two similar triangles let's say a and b and c this is d this is e this is f and it is said that a b and this is sorry not d g and this is h okay so what is given given is a b by d e is equal to a g by d h is equal to a c by d f what do you do to prove to prove what triangle a b c is similar to triangle d e f right this is the given statement now and it's given that a g is median so it's also given what is what else is given b g is equal to g c and e h is equal to h f these are these are the things which are given now you have to prove that a b c is d e f now in this case what you need to do is i will do a construction let me just take it away yeah so what construction do you need to do you have to in such cases you know whenever there's a median attached to it what normally you need to do is extend a g okay to say i and join this okay similarly here also extend dh and such that d h i j h j is equal to dh and join fj so what is the construction so i'm writing here construction what did we do produce ag ag is equal to gi okay and what next um uh, h dh is equal to hj these two constructions i did and then joined the other two joined statement again the statement is this two sides and a median bisecting one of these sides one of these sides oh i'm sorry uh i have not taken that oh um, uh, oh there's a mistake guys sorry so you have to just change this to b 
instead of AC by DF, you this is the difference. Difference is BC by EF. Yeah, that's the only thing. Yeah, rest everything remains the same. So AB by DE, AB by DE is given to be equal to AG by uh, DH is given to be equal to BG by EF. Yeah, thanks for highlighting. So this this is yeah. Okay, so if two sides and a median bisecting one of these sides of a triangle are respectively proportional to the two sides and the corresponding median of another triangle, then the triangles are similar. Okay, so hence, what is given that AB by DE, again, just to reiterate, AB by DE is given to be equal to AG by DH, these are the medians, and the median is dividing one of the two sides, that is BC and EF. Is that okay? Hello? Yeah, I hope you understood this. Now, so hence, uh, the construction remains the same, guys. So uh, what happens is, um, yeah, so hence, when I did this, if you, if you see the triangle A, B, G, and so now consider this triangle and this triangle. What happens, this side is equal to this side because that those are medians. And this is by construction. And this is vertically opposite angle. So hence, what do we infer? We infer that ABG triangle ABG is congruent to triangle ICG. Okay, by SAS congruency criteria. Similarly, if you see in the other set of other other triangle as well, triangle DEH is congruent to triangle IFH. No, this is J, sorry, JFH, JFH, by same mechanism. That means what? AB is equal to CI, right? So this side will be equal to this side, and this side will be equal to this side, correct? Right, what else? So, okay, so AB, oh, yeah, again disappears screen gets blank I think from my side as well yeah never mind so hence uh, what do we infer mm, yeah we what do we infer we infer from that um, a B is equal to yeah so that's that's correct and then uh, Okay. Yeah, <clears throat> sorry. So, uh So next is, how do we go ahead from here? So hence ABG and ICJ. Yeah, it did it. Yeah, so there was some kind of this thing from my side as well. So, you know, uh, from which my, hello, my uh, screen got frozen. Never mind. So let's start. Let's let's go back again. So ABG is ICJ. Uh, sorry, what am I saying? Yeah, so we just established that these two, these two are congruent. And these two are also congruent. Okay, so I hope you can see from here. So hence, these two are congruent. So what uh, what does it infer? So AB uh, AB by D AB by DE. Yes. So AB by DE. So let me write AB by DE is equal to AC by DF. AC by DF, and this is equal to uh, it was equal to AG by DH. This was given, correct? Now, uh, so I can replace AB by IC, right? So if you see, this particular thing can be replaced by IC. AB can be replaced by IC and DE can be replaced by FJ, right? JF, let's say. So this is IC by JF is equal to uh, 
AC. Where is AC? Yeah, AC by D is equal to. Yeah, hello. Sir, Shada here. Yeah, Shada, go ahead. Sir, uh, in the figure that you have drawn, can't you prove that like triangle ABG is similar to triangle DEH, and then say angle B is equal to angle C, and then you will get the similarity, right? So how do we prove similarity, Shada? We don't have many, you know, we don't have any angle or any other, uh, you know. Um, so it says AB is the AG, like is the median, right? So twice BC, like two times BG uh, by two times EF, and then two two gets cancelled, and then you get DEF is similar to that. Now uh, wait a minute. You're saying uh, what? Two times BG is yeah. So which two triangles are you trying to prove as similar? ABG and DEH. A B G and D. Uh, okay, yeah, makes sense. A B G and D E H. Okay, they are similar. And then angle B equals angle C. Then you can use S A similarity and prove it. Angle B is equal to angle C. Where is it written? Angle B is equal to angle E. D is not equal to E. Where is it given that D is equal to E? So B B B is equal to E. How, how, how? Because they are not similar. Sir, A, B, G no, is similar no, no. to D, E, F. Yeah, okay, B is equal to E. Prove them to be similar. Okay, you have, you prove that B is equal to E. Okay, now? And then you take A, B, A, B by D, E is equal to B, C by E, F. It's given. And then angle B equals to angle E. S, A, S, similarity, you get it. Okay, so you are saying, okay, you are saying triangle... A B G is similar to triangle D E H H and this you are saying because the three sides are proportional. So mm. A B is equal to D H A B A B is proportional to D E sorry A G is proportional to D A uh, sorry uh, basically A B by D E is equal to A G by D H anyways given. Yeah, so the three by SSS criteria they are similar. So B is equal to E. B is equal to E. If B is equal to E, then uh, in the two this thing SAS. Yeah, looks good. Yeah, good, Shraddha. This can also be done. So you don't need to do all this extra stuff. So this also can be done. But I was why is this crucial? Uh, did we? Uh, Oh my God. Okay. Okay. I understood the problem. Yeah. Very good. Yes. So, uh, okay. Now what happens? Let me rephrase this then. What if instead of a, uh, instead of, uh, what, uh, BG by EF, let's say instead of BG by uh, BC by EF, instead of BC by EF, what happens to the same problem? If this is given, a B by D E is equal to A G by D H is equal to D A C by D F. Now the included side is not there. Do you understood? Do you understand the problem? The change problem is instead of these two proportionality, I am giving you these two now. Yeah, so now it now the thing changes. Now this is where probably I was having this thing in mind and you know proving. Uh, yeah, so I was I was uh, I didn't change the you know though I changed in the question, but then I was trying to prove when this is given. So that becomes the solution. So hence in this case, if this is given, guys, I hope you understood what I'm trying to say. It's now given that AB by DE is equal to AG by DH, the median ratio, and third is AC by DF. If this is given, if this item is given, can you prove that the two triangles are similar? That was the thing. So hence, in this case, it will now become, so hence, that is how you have to do this construction. And then, uh, yeah, this is what I am now going to prove. So hence, from here, I hope that you understood AB by DE is equal to AC by DF. This was given AC by DF. That's what I was trying to prove. See AC by DF and this is equal to AG by AG by DH. This was given. This was given. 
this was given here so from here i am replacing ab by ic because i proved them to be congruent so ab by ic i replaced and dh d uh, de i am replacing by jf here right so i got this equal inequality uh, equality sorry so ic by jf is equal to ac by df and uh, i am just multiplying and dividing ag by dh by 2 so 2 ag becomes ai and 2 dh becomes dj so if you see guys this ratio is equal to this ratio is equal to this ratio makes you think or you know you can prove now that triangle aci is similar to triangle dfj okay so the moment you do this what do we get we get that this angle if this is x then this angle is x right and uh, if this is y i'm sorry uh, what is this is to, uh, yeah so this is x and uh, so you get this x is equal to right so this these two angles are same correct no similarly you can also prove that this angle if you take the you know uh, extend the other side you know you can prove that this y is equal to this y okay so with the same logic you can prove y is equal to y so what do we get we get that angle a is equal to angle d angle a is equal to angle d and that's what we were searching for the moment angle a becomes angle d the other two ratios are same so by sas we can say this also so there are two problems just to clarify once again one problem said that if a b by d e is equal to a g by dh is equal to bc by ef this was easier to prove which Shraddha proved also but the second case was instead of the third thing to be equal we are giving ag by dh is equal to ac by df now if that happens then you have to do this construction way okay so so let's move ahead because we have to also okay so time is running out so let's so this is covered this question number uh, card 22 what you see is what was the next question which we just did yeah so let's move ahead now uh, the ratio of the areas this is very very important and as i just told you there will be one marker two marker questions from there so what is this so if you have two triangles again so two triangles okay sorry for these bad drawings wait a minute yeah so let's say you have two triangles two triangles a b c and d e f if two triangles are there then then a b by d e d e whole square is equal to b c by e f whole square is equal to um ac by df whole square all these squares put together they are all equal to nothing but area of triangle abc divided by area of triangle def okay so and it's not equal to, not only equal to the corresponding sides they are also equal to uh, corresponding altitude square of the corresponding altitude square of the medians and square of the angle by sectors all are all are there right so please remember this so the squares of any two corresponding sides the squares of corresponding altitudes corresponding medians corresponding by angle by sectors all it will be and one proof i can just tell you very easily so what is that you drop a perpendicular from here you drop a perpendicular from here as well okay so what happens these two triangles are similar so this angle x is equal to x and this is 90 90 so hence these two also are similar right when they are similar that means what can you say so area of abc if now we have to calculate area of abc is nothing but half into bc into a let's say g and this is h so ag and divide by half into bc into ah dh now if you see 
AG by DH will be equal to if this, these two are similar, then you can clearly say AG by DH is clearly equal to AC by DF. Why? Because they are similar triangle, you know, corresponding sides ratio, right? Now AC by DF already was equal to BC by EF. Why? Because the, the, the parent triangles were also similar. So hence, from here, you can write half half gets cancelled. So BC upon I'm sorry, this is not BC, this is EF. So this is BC by EF into AG by DH. I can replace AG by DH here with this ratio. So BC by EF again. So hence you see BC by EF whole squared. Okay, and it will not it will not take much of a pain if you really you know see this is also equal to AG by dh whole square that is the ratio of the altitude and similarly if you have median also you can prove for that as well so i'm not going into those proofs and uh, if at all you are facing any issues you can let me know okay okay uh, okay what is that if the areas of two similar triangles are equal then the triangles are congruent equal and similar triangles congruent understood this is that if two triangles are similar and their areas are also equal then they are congruent right so similarity similarity plus equal area if these two conditions are met then congruent triangles okay so this is just statement remember okay next 25th if a perpendicular is drawn from the vertex of the right angle of a right triangle to the hypotenuse, then the triangle on both sides of the perpendicular are similar to the whole triangle and also to each other. Now, this is again a very important theorem and I will explain this. Important. What does it mean? So, if you have a right angle triangle, right angle triangle. So, if you have a right angle triangle like that. So A, B, C, all right? And you drop a perpendicular from here like that, D. So how many similar triangles can you see here? There are three pairs of similar triangle. So if you see triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle A, D, B. This is similar, they are similar, okay? This is similar. Why? Because A is common and D and B are 90 degree each in both the triangles. So by A is similarity. Also, triangle A, B, C is congruent. Uh, sorry, similar to triangle. Um, so C and instead of B, you have to write D. C, D and uh, C, D, B, right? Wait a minute. What, what happened? Just a minute. So A, B, C, the other one will be A, B, C, right? Um, we, first one is A, D, B. So second one is C, D, B, okay? So C, D, B means C is common. So, and the corresponding to B will be having D and yeah, B, D, C. So this, this is first one, remember? This is the second one. And the two smaller triangles are also similar to each other. And how are they? So triangle A, B, D is similar to triangle uh, triangle B A B D is similar to so D has to be in common B C yeah B, triangle B C D okay no we are not doing proof for proof of Pythagoras theorem I'm just saying there will be there has been question last year on this particular thing that if you drop a perpendicular Okay, we will use this in uh, Pythagoras theorem, but please remember there are three pairs of similar triangles here. Okay, so three, this particular thing will be used to prove Pythagoras theorem. Okay, but then you must know and you know, you just do this practice at home as well that how to identify. So how do I identify this? So I am saying this is one triangle ABD. So I have written A, A you know, and then the complete full angle AB, a full triangle ABC. So if I take these two, so A has to be common in both. So hence C, A is here A. 
first angle is A. Then 90 degrees in the first ABC, the 90 degrees is B. So 90 degrees here, B. And in the second case, I'm sorry, here. In the first case, B is here, 90 degree. And in the second case, 90 degree is D. So hence the two is, the two angles are equal. And now the third one is C and B. Like that you have to write. Okay. So this is how you have to. And similarly, the other two pair also, you can figure it out. So in the other two figures also, uh, now in the, in the second case, I am taking this, this triangle. So this triangle and the complete triangle ABC in the C is common. So if you see, I have first written C at the same position, third position. And then, then let's check 90 degree in each case. So in the bigger triangle, B is 90 in the smaller triangle, D is 90. So I wrote B and D like that. And then the third, the third vertex, which is left over, I wrote A and B like that. Okay. And then same with this also. So there are three pairs of similar triangles. And now the Pythagoras theorem. So hence, I will just, uh, you know, so hence they will not ask you prove the Pythagoras theorem. They will say this statement. So in a right angle triangle, the sum of this, 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 is this. They will ask you this to prove. And the proof lies in similarity as well. You know already. So let me use this here itself and prove the theorem as well. So in the first, if you take the first one, this one, this first one, first relation. For Pythagoras theorem, we know that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Now I'll tell you how to remember this proof, right? What you can do is you write, see, uh, we will go by right hand side. Okay. So a, you write, you take the first, first, first similar triangle set of similar triangle ABC and ADB. So you're writing triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADB. So be aware that corresponding angles would be same. Now you write AB here in numerator and then here in denominator. Then only after cross multiplication, it will become AB square. Now if you're writing AB from the first one, what will be the corresponding AD? So simply write AD. And if you're writing AB here in the second case, then here it will be AC. These are the corresponding sides, AC. And hence, if you cross multiply, you'll get AB square is equal to AC AD. Right? Similarly, now take the second set of similar triangles. So triangle ABC is similar to triangle BDC. In this, you need to extract BC out. So hence, if you're writing BC here is equal to write BC here also. So that after cross multiplication, it will become BC square. Now, if you're writing BC here, the so corresponding side will be DC. So write DC here. And if this is BC here, that means this one. So the corresponding side will be AC. This one. So done. So hence again, you will get BC square is equal to AC into DC. Add both these. One and two. So if you add, you will get AB square plus BC square is equal to AC is common in both and you will write to write AD plus DC. Now AD plus DC, if you see, is AC. So hence it is AC square. Hence proved. Right? So Pythagoras theorem proof is very important. Okay? Pythagoras theorem uh, proof is very important. Last time in this sample also they have given, last few years also they have given this. So hence remember the proof step by step. Don't mess with the you know the order again i'm warning you you will be making mistakes here in writing the order please be very careful there okay and the converse converse is simple what is converse converse is how to prove the converse that if we let's say um a b c so it's given that a c square is equal to a B square plus B C square. Okay, prove that. Prove that angle B is 90 degree. Okay, how to go about it? So you draw another triangle D E F. Draw D E F such that E is 90 degree. You deliberately make it as 90 degree. And D E A B is equal to D E. You do. And then you do BC equal to EF like that. Then 
in d in triangle def what will happen since it is 90 degrees so we can write df square is equal to de square plus ef square by pythagoras theorem just prove but de was equal to ab so you can replace this by ab square plus bc square ef was bc so but ab square plus bc square is given to be ac square it was given from here that goes on to say that df is equal to ac right so if df is equal to ac so all the three sides are equal see in these two triangles so that means i can write triangle abc is congruent to triangle def hence angle b will be equal to angle e is equal to 90 degrees cpcp okay yes so many chats are happening parallelly do not engage in chatting and all okay before we end there are few you know more so converse of pythagoras theorem is done and there are three more uh, slides before we end but before that i want to go to the previous year questions so these are all problems in your ncrt books or you know so you can always refer to this uh, this is called apollonius theorem if you if you remember i had you know discuss apollonius theorem in all the classes the sum of the squares of any two sides is equal to so what they are saying is this is a triangle the proof is there in the so please refer to the proofs as well so abc the sum of the squares of any two sides so they are saying ab square plus ac square is equal to twice the square of half of the third side that means let's say this is d so this is 2 bd square right plus ad square this is called apollonius theorem you will not ask by name but they will ask you to prove this okay so by this and similarly the use of apollonius theorem you can prove 29 and 30 slides as well so let me not spend time over there those are regular questions now let's straight away come to the previous year cbsc question this was a one marker okay so if you see ad is equal to one centimeter given bd is equal to uh two centimeter given what is the ratio of areas of triangle right area of which two triangle ade the top one and the full one and they have uh, they are asking in the opposite ratio the abc you have to write first okay so abc triangle abc triangle abc so hence if you see this is one ad is one and bd is two so hence this is you know so hence full is three so triangle area of triangle abc divided by area of triangle a d e will be nothing but we just learned a b square by a b square by what uh, a d square which is nothing but three square by one square good so you know this this was one marker so not no big deal now this was the second question this is previous year paper guys so uh, a c b is 90 degrees and c d is perpendicular to a b prove that c d square is b d into a d okay this is exactly on the thing which we were discussing uh, just two minutes back so you have to prove that c d square is equal to b d b d into a d yeah how to do that so you know in this case uh, this is perpendicular so hence you know triangle a d c is similar to which one uh, a d c so you write triangle here and d is 90 so in the other triangle c is 90 and uh, a cor and c is 90 okay so a d c so you write b c a yeah right so angle a is equal to angle sorry angle a must be equal to angle wait a minute oh i'm sorry i'm sorry sorry not this not this you will have to write uh d is common d is 90 degree to both right so d is in the middle now a should go to c and c should go to b yeah so this is the thing c d b so a d c is 
no problem so adc is i will uh, just two minutes guys i will i just want to show you the model answers as well just hold on for two minutes so if you can adc is similar to cdb this is what we can achieve that's what i wanted to uh, tell you so hence what happens in this case you want to prove cd square so hence you know by your this thing so you write cd in this case here and here you write cd in the denominator why then you will be you'll getting the cd square thing now if you write cd from here the corresponding side is db so you have to write db or bd and if you are writing cd here then here you'll have to write ad so you write ad correct now cross multiply you'll get cd square is equal to bd into ad this is what you have to prove this was a two marker question last year okay so the crucial part was how to identify the two are similar so i just used correspondence so i know d is common in both 90 degrees so i wrote d simply then clearly a is not equal to b see the two triangles i'm trying to deal with is adc and the other one is bdc but i just need to establish the correspondence how to establish the correspondence so d is equal to d anyways now a cannot be so if you're writing a here you can't write b here because a is not equal to b so hence b comes here automatically and now what is left here c and what is left here c so like that okay so hence i established similarity like that so this is how you have to establish okay now this one is very easy one so i just let me yeah so p and q are the points on the sides C and C B respectively of triangle A B C right angle at C prove that so hence the question goes like this. So here is the triangle. Okay, and let's say this is C is right angle so A B. Okay, and prove the Q uh, P is on C A so there is a point P and there is a point Q. Right, and then they are saying join P B. And AQ. Okay, so you have to prove AQ square. So what is AQ square? What is AQ square? AQ square is simply AC square. Direct application of Pythagoras theorem. CQ square. And BP square in the left hand side is nothing but this is three marker question by the way. BP square is equal to BC square plus CP square, isn't it? Now add both of them. You'll get AQ square plus BP square is equal to AC square plus BC square and write it in brackets plus CQ square plus CP square. Now, if you see CP square plus CQ square, I'm sorry, C, huh, CP square plus CQ square is PQ square. So, hence this becomes AB square and this becomes PQ square. Hence, proved. Easy. Right, these are all very very easy problems. Okay, see, this is Pythagoras theorem four marker last year. Pythagoras theorem proof. Prove that in a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of squares of the other two sides. We just did it. Four marker. Four marks. So all the steps will be. Yep. And again application of pythagoras theorem this is very easy when you i share the slides you can try at home very easy. it was last to last year perpendicular from a on side bc of a triangle abc meets bc at d such that given condition you have to simply use pythagoras theorem to establish this very very easy okay and now so there are a few more questions i wanted to anyway solve but then most of them are application of pythagoras theorem you can see and easy problems this is how the model answer looks like See, this is a person who has got 100 down 100 in. <clears throat> so, what are the key points? If you see, very neat diagram. Neat diagram. So, diagram contains a lot of weightage. See, you know, whosoever it is given, you know, so they are she's writing very, very, you know, what is given. Okay. Then, all the given is written very neatly. Then, she has written to prove then construction the way i explained to you and then followed by proof so fourth step and then wherever there is a 
reasoning reasoning has to be mentioned okay within square brackets you know there is no you know cut marks or anything just just plain and smooth and wherever she is doing any let's say if she has to cancel anything one straight cut like that so no doing this many people do like this this is not good presentation becomes very important see so numbering of equations see all these are small small steps which yeah so very clear and you know helping the examiner from one point to the other and hence see so use of these signs all those from a and b these are the important things which you can do really you know so hence neat and now this was another three marker question which she has done see again given okay to prove again and she has also mentioned choice one there are two choices so she has mentioned choice one also like that you need not mention that but that's fine see how beautiful and neat diagram it is yep see very very you know so pencil use of pencil and yeah so please you know these are these model answers are very important right why pythagoras theorem these all you know the way they are expressing it in triangle afq angle this you know all these small small steps are very very vital to score even if you know you need to convert your knowledge into marks okay so we know area of triangle is half base into height all expressed so beautifully so wonderful answer presentation very good presentation so they will give you, give them very high on presentation okay and this is one marker yeah so again the area thing which we just solved okay so um actually i don't know why they have given them given her mark this is incorrect so ab by pq oh this was some other question sorry my bad this is some other question some other year so my bad so but then similar type of questions are being asked every year okay so this is how so one marker here if you see they have not mentioned any reason so reason is not many here no reason has been mentioned that square of uh sides ratio sides is equal to square of the area okay so hence you can you know in one marker you can afford not to write but for all other things you have to be very very you know specific thorough neat and methodical so if you skip steps probably they will you know cut marks yeah no it's not scam it's not scam it, it's some other question some other question so my bad anyway so i hope uh, the session was useful to you now this session uh, the full uh, okay uh, this thing will be record you know it's already been recorded so it will be uploaded on youtube and you can use it the next session is tomorrow so be there uh for i believe there is chemistry class if i'm not wrong so i hope you know so after this we'll be also posting the previous year question word worksheet so i would urge you that now that the you know you are free from any other school work or exam please solve them one by one and complete your preparation so right all the best guys thanks a lot for attending bye bye good night